Siemens Presence Detector White Controlling Room Functions via Presence In this video we want to discuss the user function for switching light and changing room operating mode via presence detection. Up to now, presence sensors have mostly only been used to switch lighting. However, more and more often now the control of room air conditioning is also included. The function of the presence detectors is based primarily on passive infrared sensors, which are present in all Siemens presence detectors wide alike. In some applications, multiple source evaluation is now required as well. In addition to passive infrared radiation, for example, reflected ultrasound. This double source evaluation was implemented in the type UP25861. Let's look at the application now. How to parameterize a presence detector with fixed time setting as simply as possible as a fully or semi-automatic device? The task for the fully automatic system is to switch on the room lighting without delay and brightness dependent when individuals are detected in the room. It should remain switched on as long as there are people in the room. It should switch off again automatically with an overshoot time of 5 minutes after the last person has been detected, for example. For the configuration, we proceed to ETS now. First of all, we add a presence detector UP25851 wide to the project. We open the parameters. In the first block, device settings, we deactivate all options except presence detector and brightness measuring. Then we open the next tab, brightness measuring. Here we only leave the calibration with adjustment factor and initial adjustment factor 100 activated. Disable the brightness value sensor object. Now proceed to the presence sensor tab. Here we do not need to change anything because the settings are already optimal. All four sensors are active, sensitivity is high and channel A is preset for presence detection. Further to channel A presence detector. We'll use the default parameters. Brightness dependent motion detection, brightness limit 50 lux, source for brightness value internal, startup delay 40 seconds. The movement trigger and extension input settings must all be set to disable. If the lamps are not expected to cause any major temperature fluctuations in the detector area, the time parameters for the status feedback object and the dead time after the end of detection can be set to zero. Otherwise, they must be adopted to the circumstances. Next, the overshoot time 1 must be set to the desired value, here 5 minutes. This parameterization results in four functions, two of which must be used, presence detector start and end switching. It is sufficient to use it with only one group address. If a status message from the controlled actuator is available, it is useful to link it to object 7, status of actuator. In conjunction with the evaluation time of the status feedback object, this can be used to ensure that the presence detector cannot immediately send an on telegram again, even if lighting is switched off manually. Here we are finished with the configuration of the fully automatic presence dependent switch lighting control. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. How do I set the presence detector for lighting to semi-automatic function? Semi-automatic function means that you either switch on the lighting manually and let the presence detector switch off, semi-automatic off, or let it switch on automatically but then switch it off manually, semi-automatic on. 
The changes for this are very simple. Since there are two objects for switching on and off, only one link with the group address has to be released respectively and you are done. Can functions other than switching be controlled via presence as well? With the Siemens presence detectors, it is basically possible to control a whole series of parallel running controls without the use of additional components, such as scene controllers. On the one hand, because there are up to three function blocks that can be controlled simultaneously by the presence sensors, and on the other hand, because there are two output functions or objects within each of these function blocks. For all output objects data point types from 1-bit switching to 16-bit floating point as well as scene functions are available. An example is the presence dependent room operation mode. With function block A the light is switched depending on brightness. With function block B as presence detector HVAC, the temperature control is switched between economy and comfort independent of brightness. Please note here that you have to set the values 1 for comfort and 3 for economy in the data point type 5010 because there is no DPT 2102 room operating mode. This brings us to the end of the chapter controlling room functions via presence. You now have mastered the configuration of the Siemens presence detector white for controlling switch light sources and the room operating mode for temperature. Thank you very much for watching and come back again.